Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Michelle Dickinson. You might know me as Nana Girl on stage. And I'm Gareth Baston, who plays Boris on stage. Now thank you to everybody who came to see us in our live science and engineering show called... Bring on the noise. And it was pretty noisy. And uh, lots of people have talked about this, which was one of their favorite experiments. This is called our Air Zooka. And they'd like to know how to build one at home. And so we're engineers. We thought we would show you. But first, if you haven't seen this, let us show you what it does. So we've put some smoke in here. And you're going to see as I pull back, we'll get these beautiful spinning smoke rings. And they're not just pretty. They're also very strong and powerful and can knock things over. So that's super cool. What do you think we use smoke rings for? Uh, oh, in the olden days, signalling, sending messages. Olden days when you were around. Okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yes, we used to send messages. We have a much better way of sending messages now. Which is? Well, using telephones, mobile ah, phones, yes. internet, all of those things. And actually, thanks to Vodafone, who are our platinum sponsor, we've been able to communicate all across New Zealand. Without using you, smoke rings. Without using smoke rings. How do you think phones work? Radio waves. I know that, waves. So we taught you that in the show. So radio waves are a form of waves, and the frequency depends on the type of wave we have. And so radio waves are a type of wave. So thank you, Vodafone. You've helped us communicate, and we didn't have to use smoke signals. Let's talk about how we're going to build one of these. Okay. If you want to build one at home, you're going to need some simple stuff. You're going to need something elastic like bungee cord. You need something that is quite waterproof like tarp or a shower curtain. And you're going to need one of these. An old bin. Old bin. So all you need to do is engineer an air zooka. So the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Auckland are our academic partner. And so using them, we're going to show you how to all be engineers. What do you need to do at this end? So uh, just cut a hole at the end, but the most important thing is that it's less than the diameter of the base. So we've got about a far 50 millimeter rim around the outside there, and that's important because it allows the air to travel fast out the center and get caught up around the edge to make the rings. Uh, we then also got, here we've got a shower curtain, and it's attached via the lid here, or we could just tape it on if you wanted to. And then we have some bungee cord here, which is tied onto the center of the shower curtain using a hook eye or an eye or an eye screw eye, something like that. So that is all connected. So this pulls on the shower curtain, uh, which is at the back here. Now the McDiamond Institute are our science partner and I'm a materials engineer. So I'm gonna tell you about the materials that we've selected. We've selected a bungee cord because it needs to be a material that is elastic. An elastic material, when you stretch it out, goes back to its original shape. So you want something that when you pull back on the top, it pops back. Um, if this was a piece of metal, for example, that wouldn't work. That's a plastic in nature. So something elastic, stretchy, maybe a strong rubber band could even do this. And secondly, we want to be able to push the air through. So we don't want, you know, a knitted sweater. No. Something with holes in. You instead want something that is quite waterproof and almost not airtight, but similar. So very, not very porous. Tight weave. Tight weave. So that when you push the air through, all the air through is going to be pushed as opposed to just going through the holes in the material. So shower curtains on top work really well. They're very cheap and there's lots left over and thrown out, which we can use. Now, once you've constructed your air zooka, if you don't have a smoke machine to see the rings, what you can do is see how powerful it is, especially if you've got long hair. I'm going to pull my hair out. And you can fire it, ask permission first from the person you're firing at, in their face. Oh, thank you. And you'll see, it's very windy. So, great. That's how you build an air zooka, thanks to our sponsors. That's Vodafone, the University of Auckland's Faculty of Engineering, and the McDiamond Institute, all of whom we use to make this today.